Who doesn't like gadgets? In today's video WordPress tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to add pages and widgets to your WordPress blog. Hi, I'm Aaron Trammell. I'm an assistant instructor and PhD candidate in the Rutgers University School of Communication and Information. This is one video in a video tutorial series I'm doing on how to use WordPress. Pages and widgets are two essential parts of your blog's infrastructure. Widgets help you connect to other blogs and help other people to search around your own blog, in addition to miscellaneous other things. Pages are where you can display static information that's going to be fairly standard and won't change from day to day like your normal blog feed would. Let's look closer at these things. So now it's time to do pages and widgets. Um, and as I said earlier, the pages are the things on your site that you see on top. Uh, this, this does not, oh, we're on the about page. So here we have one page, it's just the about page in addition to the main, main blog feed right here, Hello World. The widgets are the things on the left. All right, so um, the easiest way to think about it is to go over here. Pages are basically extra things that you can put in your blog that will be stable, that you won't really update. You'll just kind of set and forget them. So if you go to Pages and you go to All Pages, you'll see all the pages that you have. Right now, we only have an About page. But let's say I want to add a new page. And let's call this, it, it gives you what is basically a uh, post uh, thing where you can add a new page. And we'll call this one the information page. And we'll, we'll put lots of information into the post. This is just basically a regular post. Edit it like any document, bold, italic, all this stuff. And then once you're ready with it, you just hit publish and it will go to your blog. And again, you can view the page, or we could go to the blog, refresh it, scroll up, and you'll see the page pop up right here. If we click on information, lots of information, just like we put here. But let's say we want to edit some of the stuff on the side. For instance, this meta information thing right here is kind of ugly. Um, and it doesn't really need to be here. So we can take that out. So to do that, we can go to the widgets area of our dashboard, back to home. And then under, I think it's appearance, the next thing under themes is widgets. Click on widgets, and it'll give you this whole way to edit your widgets. Um, so you can see here, we have search, recent posts, archive, categories, and meta. Meta being the one I said I wanted to get rid of. And you can see you can drop down and give them different things. You can change the title, what it reads as on your blog, really customize it. But to get rid of it, you just pull it off. And you can put it into the available widgets area, or you could even put it into this inactive widgets area, which is to have stuff that operates maybe passively, but doesn't show up on your blog. But we'll just leave it in this regular widgets area right now. And, you know, just to show that we have some options. Um, let's add another widget, uh, perhaps a tag cloud widget to this blog. Just grab it and drag it over to this widget area, the sidebar, or we could put it in the footer area, which would be at the bottom of the blog. Let's do that. Drag that tag cloud upper footer widget area. And these are all just different quadrants of your blog. And you know, we can edit the details here, but We'll call it retreat, retreat to the skies. And we can save that. And now if we look at the blog, you're going to see when I refresh the page that the meta widget's gone and the very bottom will have a tag cloud, probably with nothing in it because I don't think there's any tags so far. So if we refresh, Retreat to the skies. Here's our tag cloud that will have some stuff in it once we start tagging things and no more meta widget. That's how you edit your widgets and edit your pages. And that's how to add pages and add widgets to your blog, two essential parts of blogging. Please join me for the next video where I'll talk about adding posts, adding tags, and adding categories. 
Until then, I'm Aaron Trammell.